Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while. Uh, as you all know, I, I sometimes suffer from a little bit of anxiety and that's what's been going on with me lately, but I'm much better now. And um, as promised, I, I'm planning to do a little um, home series and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I enjoy when I watch other channels um, on decorating, cleaning, organizing. And um, it's been a while that I've been saying that I was going to show you how I do my little desk area. And um, today I'm going to do the desk area right behind me. And it's just a small project. Anyone can do it. It's very inexpensive and um, I'm gonna show you that in a minute I'm gonna try to take the camera out of the tripod and and see how that will work so it's gonna get shaky for a little bit and then I'll try to focus as much as I can um, everything um, that you see here is inexpensive like I said uh, you can buy this on um, you know uh, Marshall TJ Maxx um, the Office Depot um, Home Goods uh, different areas very inexpensive uh, I really wanted to do a I actually wanted a desk with uh, like a curio uh, desk um, something very small and thin well actually long and thin um, for the area that I needed it for so I went looking and it was two hundred dollars and up minimum and so right now I didn't have that up for my budget not for that um, that's not something that's necessary right now I got some other projects going on in the house that I think that um, need uh, more attention than that so for now I'm gonna be working um, with what I got I kind of like it um, so what I'm probably gonna do and I'm gonna show you um, in details what I did I'm probably gonna be painting that um, when I get to it I'll show you I'm gonna be painting that maybe silver or black not sure yet um, so let's see how this works and let's see if um, if I can pull this off guys I usually I always use my tripod I try not to use it um, handheld just because I tend to be a little shaky um, so give us a, give me a minute and let's see how this works hold on so guys right now I'm just trying um, to show you now this here is where um, it's the background when I'm sitting down okay so right now I'm gonna sit on my sofa and I'm gonna try not to um, basically shake too much okay and this is the ornament that I've spoken to you guys about before Okay, give me one second okay and um, I think this is gonna be <laughs> I wanted to just show you the stationery but you know what if I show you a little bit more of the living room that's okay um, I'm sure you guys um, wouldn't mind that all right so this is just basically a, a stack of books and let me go back okay and um, it's actually um, decorating books and I have like two little canvas um, not the I'm sorry two little um, clocks that my husband gave me they're um, silver um, silver one is antique silver and one is um, more recently and then this is an hourglass that I bought as a gift for my husband um, for his birthday he's been wanting one so I figured I made a little uh, little um, collection there then here you've seen these you've seen this before guys um, this is my Buddha hair and my two vases my little orchid um, my little black box all of these little items have been featured before in one of my other videos okay so here I'm gonna zoom and this is the area that I wanted to talk to you guys about and share with you today um, I'm gonna get a little closer 
Um, I just have to go over the the well over the ottoman. Okay. So as you see, sorry about that. Um, as you see, it's pretty long. And um, in the description bar, if you guys want, I'll just put the measurements, um, the width and the length. Okay. And all this is is a mirror that I bought, a wall mirror uh, or door mirror in silver. And what I did was I placed it on top of two other stands. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, I'm going to go around, okay, because I need to get closer. Okay, and let's see how I can do this. Okay, um, this is a little ottoman that I actually made um, myself a couple of, maybe a year or two ago for my vanity. But now in my vanity, I actually have a chair. So I'm using this little area until I buy maybe a ghost chair. So guys, let me, let me know what you guys think. I think a ghost chair in here would be really nice. Um, it's simple and um, it's see-through, so it's not um, in the way. But anyway, let's go back to my little... Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to move this ottoman. Okay. All right, so I hope I'm not too close. Sorry, guys. I apologize. I'm trying to use the camera with the tripod sticking out of it. So, <laughs> okay. So this is one side of it. Okay. And as you see, it's a long mirror. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to show you this angle. Okay. Now, if you see this and you're going to see my finger, um, this here is the long mirror that I was telling you guys. And if I'm going to take you this way, and if you can see, it's not that wide, which is perfect for the, this little area here because I don't have a lot of space. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm coming down. Okay, and I'm going to show you this here is just a piece of fabric. It's like a, it's like a linen, a see-through linen. It's very pretty. It's, it's kind of sheer. Okay, I could actually put a, like a fabric that's going to cover a little bit more, but I was like, I, I, I think that I wanted it to um, be seen. Um, okay, so... This here is the shelf, okay? And it's a wooden shelf, and it has three shelves, okay? In the first one, I have some organizing books. In the second shelf, I have um, a box that uh, carries my, or holds my CDs. And then in the third box, I don't have anything. Just have like a vase, okay? Okay, and that's what this looks like. Now, if I bring this down, you can st see um, through it, okay? But as long as you have it always organized, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I have. What I, I'm sorry, guys, if this is getting you dizzy. All right, so here I have my black little caddy I have a little um, silver um, letter holder which I've had for years um, this is like a little car holder so sometimes when I get my mail I just stick it in here um, this is a thank you card from um, one of my subscribers um, and uh, yeah Miss Cavalier actually sent me this uh, hello, um, good, good hello and hug and kisses to Colleen. Now here I have a little bowl with basically, let me get a little closer, 
it's like um, little magnets and clips all like in a little damask um, print all matching kind of okay and then here is one of my statues one of my Buddhas um, here is my uh, my tape dispenser stapler little magnifying glass letter uh, um, letter opener and a pen this whole set I got at Z, Z Gallery um, a while back though I don't even think they carry it they might carry the magnifying glass and the letter opener but I don't think they carry the the stapler and the tape dispenser now moving along here is a little silver tray or mirror tray uh, with um, some pens and here I just have um, notebooks journals um, this thing here um, I love it it's uh, my my um, phone holder but I'm using something else right now so I figured let me put that there it, it looks cute okay so as you see when you're looking at down at it it's mirrored okay Alrighty, so here I have, it's a mercury cracked um, pencil holder, my little um, diamond weight, okay, here is, this is so pretty, I, I got this a long time ago from a friend, um, it says love and it's just a box of matches, and over here I have, all of these are journals, okay, um, like I said, I have notebooks for everything. And then this is just a box of um, thank you cards. Okay. And then, of course, you can't be a YouTuber without having candles, right? <laughs> um, so, here you go. Now here I have a small, um, a small lamp. Not too small. It's like medium size. And then over here I have a paperweight of M Marilyn Monroe okay so I'm gonna show you um, over here I'm going down and I'm gonna go to the other side okay and I'm gonna lift this up okay give me just one second okay all right and on my first shelf, I have a, a decorative box, which it tends to be my theme, that black and white theme. I have all the, um, well, my CDs that I actually play on this little radio. Now, some of you guys might say, hey, CDs? Yep, I'm old school. I, even though I have, um, I have an iPod and um, iPad and you know all, all that good stuff that that new technology I still have so many CDs guys that I, I don't got time to transfer all of that so at home um, I actually have a CD player almost in every room and I just listen um, to my music so this is my current CDs that I've I'm into right now okay and here I have some that need to be put away my little clock and then in my last one I don't have anything I just have like a little crystal tray okay okay now I'm gonna bring this back down and now I want you guys to see this um, okay so if you guys don't have something like I do because like I said, this piece and that piece are two separate pieces. But if you don't have that, you can actually um, get maybe like a TV, uh, TV tray table. You know, like you guys got to think outside the box. But I'm sure that you can get something to actually just hold the mirror up. Okay. Now, this... This display here, what I did was that you see the center part, it's the least um, p 
piece will eat uh, the least area that has things that are heavy. Why is that? Because if you look down, I have no support on the bottom. Okay? Anything that's heavy, it's on this side. Because that's where the stand is. Okay? Now, right above it, it's that wall that I keep on telling you guys that it's basically um, dividing the living room space from my study. Okay? And on my next video, um, I'm going to show you my study. So, right above that wall, or right above that lamp, is my uh, silver tr um, shelf, which is called a sconce. Okay, and then here I have a little statue. Um, I have a little crystal ball. I have the speaker. And then I have um, a decorative piece hanging on that wall. Okay, now I'm going to go this way. And you're, about, and you're about to see me in a minute. Hi guys. So this is my mirror. Okay. And through the um, mirror you can actually see the back of my living room. Which I think I'm going to show you today. Right above the mirror I have this little... Um, I'm going to get a little closer. I have this stand this light um, thingy me yingy don't know what what's it called right now but I turn it on, on in the evening just so I can have some light um, ambiance light okay and this mirror is pretty it's pretty big um, it takes more than half that wall okay and then on the other side we have the th same exact thing going on the sconce, the crystal, the statue, and the decorative um, piece. Okay. Okay. Here, right above here, uh, my wall unit, I have a couple of frames, and um, let's see. Okay, there it is. I am, I'm not sure if you guys can see that because I'm, um, I'm far away from it and that's closer to the ceiling. I have a big Buddha. I have some picture frames. Okay. Okay. So. So this is basically my little desk area that I did on my own. Okay. Now, if you guys like um, and you want to write to me and let me know, you see how I'm holding this camera with this humongous tripod. Um, sticking out of it but anyway guys if you want any um, suggestions or ideas on the little area that you might have that you might want to convert into a little desk but you don't have you know the money for it right now or you don't have the space um, just leave me a comment and um, I'll get in contact with you and we can work on that together okay so I'm giving you now a view of the of one of my sofas the larger one um, it's in an L shape actually guys I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you a, a tour of my living room okay so please bear with me okay so these are the pillows that you see sometimes in the background okay and then here um, is the lounge part of it where you sit and you um, you can pick up your legs and just relax here's my magazine my tray 
um, my artichoke, which is not lit right now. Um, when I when I lit it, I tend to take it off off of that area because it's it's too close to that fabric and it's too close to those uh, magazines. Okay, and over here I have four um, prints that my brother actually drew for me. Very simple, but I love it. On this wall, I have uh, like a shelf unit. I've had it over 20 years. Okay. And right above it, right there as I'm showing you, um, there's like a light fixture attached to it. And I also turn that on sometimes. And I just got some frames and some knickknacks. That's me as a baby. And uh, this box here is extremely heavy. So it might not stay on that shelf for too long. Okay. A picture of my son and my stepkids. And a little collection of crystal, uh, just crystal. And then right underneath it, I have, um, it's made out of um, ceramic, and it's just decorative. Okay, and then here we have the entrance to the living room. Okay, and it's divided by a zebra sheer black and white curtain. Okay. And I'm going to show you this part even though it's really actually part um it's in the foyer. But I'm going to show it to you anyway cuz it's around the same area. Okay, so when you come in, that's the door. And uh let's see if I can turn on the light for you guys. go okay so at one point I used to be um, a fanatic just a fiend for blue and white um, ceramic vases bowls anything that had an oriental theme that was blue and white right here in the, right above the switch when you come in the door I have a lion sconce and I have my blinged out um, plate with my keys and this is an archipelago diffuser um, fragrance is pomegranate it's wonderful it smells delicious okay so I'll come in through the door and put my keys there and then uh, over here I have an ornament which I love. I tend to switch it around. Sometimes I put it in my li in my bedroom. Uh, not my bedroom, my closet. But for right now, it's, this is its home. Okay, and I have a stack of decorating books, a black tray, and one of my Oriental um, statues. And I have a small topiary. And then I have a, a mirror. Hi guys. And then over here I have a chair. It's a black chair. With uh, a black sequence pillow. And a silver sequence pillow. And then that red. Um, it's um, that red fabric is actually um, a throw, a Chanel throw. Okay, and I'm going to give you another direction, another view. Okay, those are the pillows. Okay, 
Now here, right off the, the chair, um, I have a basket full of decorative books. I have a mirror and this painting which is dear to my heart. I love um, it's fallen down so many times and um, every time it falls it just like breaks my heart um, but it's still you know it's, it's still in good condition my brother actually uh, painted that for me and it actually matches my decor so this this frame is is priceless to me now I'm moving further down okay and here is my small little table which I purchased at I think I purchased this in Target I'm not sure and I'm gonna get closer it's a small little um, it has a small little drawer and I hope that it doesn't have a glare because everything here is shiny okay so oh, oh let's see yeah okay so this is a little diamond frame it's real pretty that's um my husband and I when we were dating here I have a little um little notepad with my initials and a pen and this is a mirror tray Okay, and this is a little pyramid, a black marble pyramid that my husband brought, and it's cute. So anything he brings me, I appreciate. Here we have another silver, uh, one of my other Buddha heads that I, I'm sure you guys have seen in my last video. Okay, so as you remember, or hopefully you remember, that I have said I spread them all over the house. Here I have a glass mirror a white shade and then for interest I put one of my old little diamond um, charm and it's it's beautiful okay so I'm zooming out okay and now you guys are gonna see my you're gonna see my other sofa okay I'm having trouble here so bear with me guys so this is my sofa Okay, and I call that I call this one my sofa just because it's so comfortable. It's um, it's like a feather down. It's goose down. I'm sorry. And let me move back. So this is the one that has all all the pillows actually. And this is the corner that I'm always sitting on so you'll always find me here look um, with my iPad on my hand watching YouTube okay and then here right above the sofa I have this um, frame which is actually um, it's an oil paint and if you look closely, ladies, um, I had this painting for about 10 years until one day I happened to just really study it and look at it. <laughs> and it's actually a Bardello. <laughs> if you look at it, you could see the ladies. 
um, putting money in their uh, breasts, I guess. Okay. And this frame was in gold when I purchased it a while back. And when, when I changed my decor gradually, um, I painted some of my furniture black. Once again, there's another light fixture. Um, and when you light that up, this frame is it's beautiful. It has such a it has a really nice glow. As you all see right now, it's like kind of glowing. Then right above it, I have like a shelf with an oriental theme and some frames. Okay. Okay. So now. I am going over here and this um, this is a curio cabinet actually this is a, a bookcase for books and uh, a couple of years ago I had my study was larger and it was bookcase all around the whole entire room and what I did was I changed all of that and I took the bookcases and I separated them. In one of my videos, I'm going to show you guys what I did with, with um, two of the cases. Okay. But that's what that looks like. I have um, a big red, red and black vase. Some pictures. Okay. And then in here, there's going to have some glare. So I don't think you can actually see what's inside. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. So it has glass on the top, a glass cabinet, and then it has a door um, cabinet right there. This is my surround sound woofer. Um, PlayStation, a temporary. And then here is an old fashioned antique um, this, uh, this actually has a name I don't remember it right now but it actually has a name and this, this, piece, this piece was one of the pieces that I decided not to paint just because this piece is priceless and it's antique looking and I just didn't want to paint it in black or white for that matter. Okay, when you get closer, you can see that it has marble. Okay, and I have a jar of candy, my glass coasters, um, my little black clock that I've had for years, and I have a blinged out little tray with um, remote control. And then here, if I move back, you're going to see my my TV okay now I'm gonna show you this this video is gonna be so long ladies <laughs> I'm sorry for that but I'm going to get closer to this cabinet so it's basically flanked this is flanked by two bookcases on either side okay this one is the bottom shelf which is which has doors and this is the one that has glass okay and because it does have the glare um, I'm gonna just open it up so you guys can see okay so it's just basically decorative little items and in in these two boxes I have DVDs okay and if you see in the back um, that is wallpaper so it used to be just a plain um, like this and for detail I just put that wallpaper it's a little bit um, time consuming but it's worth it. it it really is it looks very pretty 
okay and this is the top of that shelf or that bookcase and this is right above the TV and it's a, it's actually a, a, a plague um, it's a really long it's, it's kind of heavy also it used to be in like a light brown to match my curio here it was actually that color and I painted it black okay so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go near my study and give you a view Okay guys, so I finally gave you guys a little tour. Actually, it was a full tour. Okay. My living room is not that big. Okay, because I divided it like I said into two parts. Okay. And once again, I'm showing you my little desk, which was the inspiration of this video and it just went into our living room tour okay guys so the next video will be this area right here okay here's a small peak and that's it guys that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you like the little desk um, creation that I created. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my little living room tour. And stay tuned for more of the home, um, home series. And like I said before, that's going to include a little bit of everything. Um, home decorating, just little ideas that I have to do certain things. Uh, thinking outside the box and just um, being creative all right so next until next time guys uh, take care and um, I'll talk to you soon bye hi everyone so in the last past two videos I actually have this outfit on and what I've been doing is trying to uh, take as many videos as I can in one day because I have my on days and I have my good days and and so sometimes I'm really tired and that's why sometimes I don't get to post any videos so today I'm trying to put two or three out and so you're gonna see the same see the same outfit um, but in the other two um, videos I didn't describe what I was wearing so this is gonna be very short I'm just gonna do an outfit of the day um, today I have a button a button down collar black cotton uh, shirt I have it um, with the sleeves just cuffed up once okay and I have a swing uh, cotton skirt okay so this is even though it's all black and black it's very cool because it's cotton okay so it was a very warm day today in New York um, I have a belt with a little rosé um, little rose okay I am going to show you but I'm not at this time I'm not gonna get on a chair to show you my shoes. Um, if you give me a minute, this is what I have on today, some general flip-flops. It has some gold and bronze and silver uh, details. And just because I'm wearing some gold um, jewelry today, I have my, and I'm going to get closer to the camera. This is uh, my guest watch. Um, that my husband gave me for my birthday uh, a couple of years ago. Thank you, baby. Um, I have a little rope um, necklace, one of the ones that you tie up, and it has gold details. And this is a double link bracelet, my engagement ring, and my wedding ring. And in my um, for earrings, I have these gold uh, 
ball uh, earrings. They're pretty big. Um, I normally don't wear um, earrings this big, but because I had this hair um, picked up, I figured why not, okay? You're gonna see me for the summer with my hair picked up like this. Just because it looks put together, um, it gives you kind of an ele elegant um, look, but without it being too fussy, because it was, it was very easy to do. So if you guys, um, you know me, I don't do tutorials, but if you guys would like to see how I did this, it takes less than five minutes to do. And um, if you have medium to long length hair, um, this will be perfect now for the summer. Or even now for um, the winter when uh, the Christmas season is coming along and you wanna look dressy. So, uh, what else? Oh, my chain. Um, this is a multi-chain. It uh, has three different types of chain and it's a uh, gold glossy so it's a shiny uh, gold and it has that leather I don't know if you guys can see that it has the leather um, string where you can actually tie it and then you can gradually um, fit it to your length that you, you like and this um, chain um, I'm happy to say that I'm making them. So if you guys are interested, uh, just uh, give me a, a shout out or an email or private message me and I'll give you the price. Um, I'm actually making them in just in gold right now. In about maybe two weeks, I'm gonna see what other kind of gold I can find. Maybe one that's a little bit more um, like a satin finish and also maybe silver or black. But I can also make this either two or three chains, whatever you guys like. But that's what I'm doing now. Okay. And um, you can, like I said, you can private message me through YouTube or you can go to my blog or you can write to me in my email, which is, which is in the bottom bar. Okay. And that's it, guys. That's all. Oh, wait. My bag. This bag is actually the bag for a couple of months ago. I think I showed you my Atlanta haul. And this was the bag that I converted into four different bags. And today I used it as a plush. Okay. I'm going to be making, I don't know if it's going to be this, the next video or, you know, maybe two more videos after this. But I am going to be making the, my summer, my summer handbag. Um, video so stay I'm gonna be staying in touch with you guys I'm sorry I took a aloha hiatus but um, I should be making more videos and thank you for joining me till next time bye